what is up guys john the retro bro back again with another video so on this video i actually want to show you guys how to get the best out of your playstation one games graphically when it comes to retro arc of course the best option is always a crt with an s video or rgb if you can do it but we all know that's not always the case a lot of us are choosing emulation especially on playstation uh, to go back and experience our ps1 games now that could be either on your PC using RetroArch. A big thing now that's popular is the Atari VCS, which can also use RetroArch. So really, as long as you're running anything that runs RetroArch, uh, this is gonna be important for you. You wanna watch this video. This is like every PlayStation game remastered. Um, you're gonna see a huge difference here. I'll play some clips while I'm talking that you're seeing as I kind of do the intro and just show you. And I've always said PlayStation 1, there's a lot of issues when it comes to going back and playing those games. Uh, graphically, they looked okay at the time on a CRT, but when you translate those games to a modern monitor, LED, LCD, anything that has a higher resolution, it doesn't look well. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're in RetroArch, you want to make sure you have the following emulator that you're using so you can either use sony playstation beetle psx or psx hw both of these will work so you want to have the beetle emulator if you don't have it select it uh download it and the bios that you're going to want to need here is scph5501.bin that's the ps1 us bios now if you want to use japan games it's the 5500 and if you want to use European games, it's 5502. Um, but I'm using 5501. This is the BIOS file that you'll need for this emulator. So let's get into the game. I'm going to show you how it looks. You guys have already kind of seen a little bit how it looks and some of the overlays that I did here. So let's get into Crash Bandicoot Warped, one of my favorite PS1 games. And we're going to do a quick load state here, and I'll show you. So, obviously, this is what it's going to look like. It doesn't look terrible on my screen, uh, but when you translate this to a... I'm using a 27-inch Odyssey monitor here, G50A. It's a 2K monitor. It, it really does not look good. And a lot of you might be using a VCS hooked up to your 4K display. It's, it's, it's not going to look very good. So, we're going to fix a few different things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our quick menu and we're going to go into options here. And we're going to change the resolution here. We're going to bump this up to 2x. You can go all the way up to 8x, 14x. I run it at 2x. Um, I've, I've tried to render it at 4 and 6 and it just gets kind of buggy. Uh, so that's going to update your, your resolution here. Another thing we want to fix is what's called... Precision Geometry Transform Pipeline. So many don't know this, but uh, one of the reasons why PS1 has that shakiness in the graphics um, is because of the way that PlayStation rendered 3D polygons. So they could render them, but they, the, there was no... The GPU and the PlayStation 1 could not calculate distance when it came to polygons. So the software and developers actually had to write code to align polygons and you can see that happening in a lot of ps1 games when you'll have a static scene and the uh, character or graphics appear to shake this is actually going to fix that uh, so the first thing we want to do is turn pgxp operation mode we want to turn this to memory only uh, we're going to leave this off uh, our 2d geometry tolerance if you turn that on it can get a little buggy so we want to turn all three of these on now, if you're using um, the other Beetle emulator, you're only going to have two options here. Uh, just turn them both on. The only one we want off is the PGXP 2D Geometry. Uh, so now we're going to exit our quick menu and we're going to see the better looking graphic graphics here. So now we can see there's no shaking. Um, I can see my, my distance much further. I can see that goat in the background, whereas it just looked like a blurry mess. And I have no performance issues at all. It's running fine. And it just looks better. Um, I've done this with several games. I've done it with uh, Gran Turismo. 
I have done it with uh, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro looks absolutely amazing. Uh, Gran Turismo is huge because you can see the further draw distance and they're really just overall so much better. Um, and it's going to translate to a better gaming experience. Now, I, I know some people obviously will always kind of prefer that shaky PS1 feeling. And sometimes it is fun to go back to that. But an overall playing experience, uh, this is really the best way to play PS1 games today. You know, like I said, I've always wanted PS1 games remastered. I don't think Sony's going to be doing that for us. I mean, we've seen it a little bit with Spyro. Uh, we've seen it a little bit with Medieval. Uh, but there's so many other games that, that could do it and, and really this is our best option so i hope you enjoyed that little tutorial guys i uh, hope this helps you enjoy ps1 a little bit better uh, but if you like the video give it a give it a like if you like uh if you want to stick around subscribe to the channel and hope you enjoyed this video do you even retro arc bro ps1 i'll see you on the next video oh.